Welcome to my talk, in which I would like to present a new approach to the theory of intersection spaces from the viewpoint of rational homotopy theory. And this will enable us to derive generalized Poincaré duality results for certain singular spaces and also to give a new geometric interpretation of the Poincaré duality isomorphism. But first of all, I would like to introduce concepts of Poincaré duality for singular spaces. Um, let us start with the classical topic, which is Poincaré duality for manifolds. And then it is well known that for a closed-oriented n-manifold M, capping with the so-called fundamental class and uses isomorphism between the cohomology and homology groups with integral coefficients, of complementary dimensions. And passing on to rational coefficients, we obtain a non-degenerate bilinear form, which is also sometimes called intersection pairing, um, between complementary cohomology groups, which is induced by forming the cup product of cohomology classes and evaluating the result on the fundamental class of M. An even weaker form of Poincaré duality is obtained by comparing Betti numbers, which are by definition the ranks of the integral homology groups of the manifold M. And then Poincaré duality can be stated by saying that Betti numbers of complementary degree are equal. And this symmetry has already been observed by Poincaré himself, who stated that Les nombres de Betty également distants des extrêmes sont d'égaux. So, of course, we cannot expect that the beautiful symmetry of Poincaré duality is valid for spaces that are more general than manifolds. As the following example already shows, let us consider the suspension of a two torus. So, the two torus is imagined as the square with the opposite edges identified. And the suspension is indicated in the figure on the left. And since um, the suspension shifts the homology, or say the reduced homology, by 1, you find that eventually the first and the second Betti number of the space X are not equal. So naive Poincaré duality cannot hold in this case. So the space X I discussed here is belongs to the class of so-called topological stratified pseudomanifolds, which I will call stratified pseudomanifolds in the following, which are defined as follows. So this is an um, inductive definition. So we define first what a zero-dimensional stratified pseudomanifold is, and this is just a countable set with the discrete topology. And in positive dimension, for n bigger than zero, an n-dimensional stratified pseudomanifold is by definition a para-compact Hausdorff space X, which is equipped with a filtration by closed subsets Xj of the following form, so X equals Xn, and then there is a chain of subsets ending with X minus 1, which is the empty set, and then we require that the complement of Xj minus Xj minus 1 these complements are j-dimensional topological manifolds, also called pure strata, and the complement xn minus xn minus 2 is called the top stratum, and this is required to be dense in x, and also we require the whole filtration to satisfy local normal triviality, as stated in the following way. By this we mean that every point in one of the pure strata, say the j strata, should have an open neighborhood U, which is naturally stratified by intersecting it with the filtration subsets of X. And this subset U should be stratification-preserving, homeomorphic, to the product of a Euclidean J space with C of L, where first of all L is itself a compact stratified pseudomanifold of dimension n minus j minus 1, so the dimension is strictly smaller than n, which means inductively we have already defined what a stratified pseudomanifold of that dimension is. 
and c of z is just the open cone on the space z and this product rj times c of l is also stratified in the following way the case stratum is given by the product of rj with the cone on the stratum l k minus j minus 1 of l so after this rather complicated definition of a stratified pseudomanifold i would like to point out that stratified pseudomanifolds are um, omnipresent in topology and geometry. They appear as polyhedra of simplicial complexes, as orbit spaces of group actions on manifolds in certain cases, as real or complex algebraic varieties, and also as certain compactifications of non-compact spaces, like for example moduli spaces. And because they appear in so many fields, um, people were motivated to search for generalized forms of Poincaré duality for pseudomanifolds. And the first positive result is due to Goreski and McPherson from the 1980s, and which is called intersection homology, which is a successful and famous theory. Another approach is due to Jeff Cheger, also from the 80s, uh, which is by L2 cohomology. And another more recent approach is due to Banage, who introduced the theory of intersection spaces, which is the topic of this talk. So let me explain the concept of intersection spaces in more detail. First of all, I need to say that by a perversity function, we will mean in the following just a function of the sequence, sequence 2, 3, 4 of integers into the sequence of non-negative integers, 0, 1, 2, and so on, such that the value of 2 is 0 and the function p bar mm, is increasing at most by one each step. So this is described by the inequalities that p bar of i is bounded by p bar of i plus 1 is bounded by p bar of i plus 1. And then Banagel had the idea that instead of modifying the chain complex of a pseudomanifold x, as Goreski and McPherson did to define their intersection homology, Banagel had the idea to assign to the pseudomanifold x so-called intersection spaces ipx parameterized by a perversity function such that the ordinary homology or cohomology groups of these intersection spaces satisfy a generalized form of Poincaré duality. And the principle should be that the stratified space x should only be modified near its singular strata and concretely, one should replace links by so-called spatial homology truncation, which are also called new approximations. So what are the benefits of this approach? First of all, by taking the reduced cohomology of the intersection spaces, you automatically get um, a perversity internal cup product, which is in general not so easy to get for the intersection homology. And also you can directly apply other generalized homology theories to the intersection spaces and directly get a lot of interesting invariants of the original pseudomanifold to study. And what one should point out is that the homology of intersection spaces, even with rational coefficients, is in general not isomorphic to intersection homology, also say with rational coefficients. So these theories are really different theories, in fact. So let me explain the construction and properties of intersection spaces in the following toy example. Uh, we start out with a connected compact oriented n-manifold with boundary m. So we form the following pseudo-manifold, which is the manifold m with its boundary coned off. So we attach the cone of the boundary on m along the boundary. And then you can easily convince yourself that x with the indicated um, filtration defines a compact orientable stratified n-dimensional pseudo-manifold where we have to assume that n is at least 2 to make sure that uh, the strata, the stratum of index n minus 2 is still at least the zero stratum. And then 
um, I would like to explain now what the associated intersection space is. So uh, first of all, you have to fix a so-called truncation degree. In our case, uh, given the perversity function p, this is n minus 1 minus p bar of n. And this is always positive due to the growth conditions on the perversity function. And then we choose a so-called spatial homology truncation or more approximation of the boundary of M, which is a map H from a new space into the boundary of M, such that the induced map on homology is in degrees less than K in isomorphism, and the new space boundary M less K has vanishing homology groups in degrees K or larger. And then what happens, the intersection space of X with perversity P is by definition the manifold M with the cone of the new space boundary M less K attached along the spatial homology truncation map H. So in the picture you see that the cone gets replaced by a, simpli by a simplified CW complex. And then you can define the homology and cohomology groups with rational coefficients, say, of the intersection space IPX, and these will play the role of the homology theory that we obtain. And Banagel has in fact shown that the ranks of these groups are independent of the choice of H, which was the spatial homology truncation that was chosen initially. So um, what can be shown about these invariants of, of pseudomanifolds. So Banagel has shown in the toy example case that generalized Poincaré duality holds, which can be stated as follows. If P and Q are complementary perversities, that is, they add up to the sequence 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, then you have in fact generalized Poincaré duality by saying that um, the generalized homology groups here are isomorphic with respect to complementary perversities and also complementary dimensions. And also this isomorphism is compatible with poincare lefschetz duality on the pair M and its boundary. And you should compare this to Goreski and McPherson's result from 1980, which states that if X is an n-dimensional compact-oriented pseudomanifold, so now this is not necessarily the toy example case, and P and Q are again complementary perversities, then you also have a non-degenerate bilinear form of the same form as in Banagel's theorem. So this shows that the two theories are in some sense analogous to each other while not being isomorphic though. And beyond the toy example I showed you, um, there have been attempts to construct intersection spaces. First of all, um, for specific stratifications of depth 2, Banagel was able to prove generalized Poincaré duality results. Later, Banagel and Christensen were able to consider the case of one singular stratum, but with a possibly twisted link bundle. And more recently, there is an approach due to Agustin and Fernandez de Bobadilla, who were able to define intersection spaces of arbitrary stratification depth. And in particular, the assumption is here that the link bundles are compatible and trivial, and then they are also able to obtain some Poincaré duality results. And other approaches to the homology of intersection spaces or the cohomology of intersection spaces, which do not necessarily need the intersection space itself, are as follows. First of all, due to Banagel, there is an approach via differential forms, which is at least for one singular stratum with geometric flat link bundle. And Banagel and Hunziker have found another approach using L2 harmonic forms in a similar situation, but with trivial link bundle. Still another approach, which is just linear algebra. In particular, there is no cup product information, but for arbitrary stratification depth is due to Geske. And another approach via sheaf theory, which was first considered for isolated singularities, has been introduced by Banagel, Boudour, and Maxim. Okay, so now let me start by explaining um, the main results of this talk. First of all, 
um, I would like to uh, present the main idea behind my new approach to the theory of intersection spaces from the viewpoint of rational homotopy theory. And for this purpose, I would like to um, point out some drawbacks of the existing models of the cohomology of intersection spaces that we discussed so far. First of all, obviously, these models can only be compared to the intersection space on the level of cohomology, so we already lose a lot of spatial information on this level. And secondly, another drawback is that these models do either not retain the cup product structure of intersection spaces. This applies, for example, to the linear algebra approach and also to the sheaf theoretic approach. Or, otherwise, um, one needs to require in addition that the underlying pseudomanifold X has additional smoothness um, properties for its stratification in the Tomada sense. And this applies, for example, to the differential form approach, but also to the L2 harmonic form approach. And last but not least, the existing models do often not provide a canonical generalized Poincaré duality isomorphism, um, with the exception of the differential form approach, in which case um, such uh, canonical duality isomorphism is induced by multiplying differential forms by taking their wedge product followed by integration over the um, top stratum of the underlying pseudo-manifold. And so my idea was to find a certain commutative co-chain algebra, AIP bar of X, um, which should model the intersection space IP bar of X on the level of commutative co-chain algebras, where I recall that a commutative co-chain algebra is a commutative differential graded algebra whose entries are whose non-zero entries are concentrated in non-negative degrees and where the differential um, ra raises the degree by one. So the first requirement on AIP bar of X is that it should be weakly equivalent to APL of the intersection space, where APL of a space is the commutative cochain algebra of piecewise linear polynomial differential forms, which had been defined by Sullivan. And weakly equivalent means that you can find a chain of quasi-isomorphisms of commutative cochain algebras between the two commutative cochain algebras. So this is the first requirement. And the second requirement is that AIP of X admits a canonical inclusion into um, the commutative cochain algebra of piecewise linear polynomial differential forms of the top stratum of X, so it should be related to that. And also, using these properties, one should be able to realize the generalized Poincaré duality isomorphism by a non-degenerate intersection pairing of the following form, so a pair of cohomology classes with respect to complementary um, dimensions and also complementary perversity functions should be mapped to um, the integral over the regular stratum with respect to a suitable notion of integration of the product of the images of the representatives omega and eta under the maps iota in APL of the top stratum. And this is, of course, inspired by the differential form approach, where the generalized Poincaré duality isomorphism has canonically um, a similar form. Okay, so let me explain the construction of AIP bar of X briefly in the case of the toy example that we had discussed before. So X is again the um, compact uh, manifold, topological manifold with boundary coned off, so there is a single singular point, the coin point, and the truncation degree is fixed as before, and now instead of a um, spatial homology truncation of degree k, we choose a so-called standard k co-truncation of APL of the boundary of M, so by which we mean the following, so write C star for APL of the boundary of M, and then we take this map theta d greater equal k, to be the inclusion of a certain subcomplex of C star, which is the K co-truncation subcomplex defined as follows. 
you choose a direct sum complement in degree k of the image of the differential that maps into ck. And once you have this sum complement d, you just co-truncate the complex by taking zeros left of degree k. In degree k you take the d, and in degrees bigger than k you leave the complex unchanged. And this gives you the desired inclusion theta that depends on d. And once you have this standard k co-truncation, you form the following fiber product. So the right-hand vertical map is this map theta, the standard k co-truncation. The horizontal bottom map is induced by the inclusion. And then you take the fiber product, and the pullback is the construction of the desired commutative cochain algebra AIP bar of x. And the constructural maps iota and rho in the diagram are induced by this fiber product. And I have obtained the result that the morphisms iota, so the left vertical map in the diagram with an additional cube summoned, and the map induced by inclusion. These two maps are weakly equivalent over APL of m. So in particular, as a corollary, you see that the requirement that AIP of x and APL of IP of x are also weakly equivalent, which was one of the requirements for the space AIP of x. So and finally, I also obtained the desired intersection pairing for the intersection space. So the construction of AIP bar of x is repeated here, but we have already seen it on the previous slide, as well as the canonical inclusion iota. And then another ingredient is that you have to assume the underlying manifold m with boundary to be compact and oriented. And then we consider the fundamental class in the relative homology group. And what we now do is we fix a chain representative mu, and the intersection pairing will depend on this chain representative. And also what you need as another ingredient is um, a linear form, which is basically defined by integration of polynomial differential forms on M over singular simplices of mu. And this can be defined and has a lot of properties that resemble the properties of integration of smooth differential forms over manifolds. And using all these notions, we can finally formulate the generalized Poincaré duality theorem, which states that for complementary perversities p bar and q bar, multiplication in APL of m, followed by integration over the chain representative mu, induces, in fact, as desired, a non-degenerate pairing in the form that we have discussed before. Thank you very much for your attention.